guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be talking about the new Anastasia Novu palette I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it <laughs> um, I ended up deciding to pick this up I went over to Ulta and found it at the store got to see it in person and everything and I have so many eyeshadow palettes I was like I know I don't need this one but the color story is just drawing me in I don't have a ton of like greens in my collection and this palette I just thought it was so pretty and I'm excited that they're coming out with new things that I think people are actually more interested in there for a while I think some of their products were just I don't know not making the the mark <laughs> that people were wanting them to so I'm hoping that this palette goes over really well for them I already did a look with this yesterday just trying it at home but I wanted to hop on here and film a video for you guys as well so let me go ahead and give you guys a close-up of the packaging here it is more of like a almost like a wickered texture um, and it is like a sage green it's very cute different from their normal like velvety packaging that they typically do more of an up close if you guys can tell it has that texture to it and here here is the back earthy sagey greens but it also has that pop of purple that I was just so excited to play with this palette retails for $55 and I picked it up at Ulta like I said normally their palettes are only 45 so this is about $10 more than normal but also it does have bigger pan sizes than their normal palettes the normal palettes the pan sizes are a little bit smaller so it's just a little bit different I already went ahead off camera and did my base makeup and everything so all I have left to do is the eyes and I wanted to do that portion with you today so I definitely am gonna have some swatches of the palette up on the screen for you guys and another clip but let's go ahead and hop on into me trying out the makeup so let's do it zoomed you guys in that way you can see a little bit more up close to what's going on here we're gonna take the shade floor in the palette first this is just kind of a neutral brown just to kind of fluff that in the crease I'm probably just gonna do one eye with you guys on camera and then um, I'll do the other off camera just so the video is not so so terribly long and I'm just using the mirror that's in the palette here today they give you a pretty good size mirror so we're just going to be putting that into the crease first shade I think that it looks really nice it blended out super easy it's a nice one just to use as a transition shade just to buff out everywhere it worked really nicely okay, so here is that brown um called floor just all over the lid or not the lid <laughs> the crease I don't know what I'm talking about today go so in with the kind of burnt orange type of shade next this is called metro and I am just gonna be using that kind of in the crease as well but more on the outer portion I guess I would say and I'm just taking a blending brush this one's by Essence. Most of my brushes are like by BH, but this one's a Essence one. Kind of fluff it on the outer portion. It has a nice color payoff and it is very pigmented as well super easy to blend so let me do this other eye here is metro blended on the eyes as well I love the burnt orange type of color and honestly you could just do a look like this throw a little bit of metro on the lower lash line and put your mascara or whatever else on and go if you just want to keep it super simple but we're going for something a little more elevated today we want to use some of the greens i kind of want to use as many colors as possible honestly just to showcase it for you guys with the palette here um so let's go ahead and go in with liberty 
Yeah, Liberty. It's like the sagey matte green. Just again, just taking it on like a fluffy blending brush. I'm not like using really precise brushes or anything. This one's just from BH Cosmetics. And I'm kind of just going to put that on the same area that I put Metro. Just on the outer portion and then through the crease. A tiny bit of fallout but it's nothing that a big fluffy brush just won't dust away so that doesn't really bother me it's not a huge deal or anything so yeah just want to let you guys know what liberties on the eyes let's go ahead and go in with the shade hope which is also a green but it is more of like a shimmer metallic i'm gonna use that on my finger actually and place it on the lid i used this one in the look i did the other day and it was really pretty so we're gonna take that one like i said i'm just taking it on my finger it's literally so pigmented i'm obsessed and i'm just placing it more like right in the center like do you see that color oh my gosh it's a gorge gorgeous green just placing it right in the center there and kind of blending up with like just little Padding motions. Take wings, which is more of like a cool tone mint green, on my finger as well, and put that more in the inner portion and blend it in with the shade Hope. And I'm taking it on my finger and just packing it on right there. You guys will see how pretty those just glide together. They just blend like so good, those two shades. And I don't normally wear like green eyeshadow a whole lot, um, but this palette has really got me into more of the earthy tones and I love that. In my day to day life, I pretty much just wear neutrals, like I wear brown. <laughs> so I'm loving getting to play with more of the color and the but still be neutral enough you know all right you guys here it is on both eyes let's go ahead and do like the inner corner highlight type of shade let's go in with aisle for the inner corner i'm just gonna use my finger some people i don't know they never use their finger for shadow i feel like sometimes it just packs the punch a little bit better so i just like to do it i don't know maybe i'm weird it's kind of a pretty gold Kind of just opens the eye up. So there is eye on the inner corner. It's kind of like a pretty gold yellow. It's not as like bam as I was expecting. But I mean it isn't really a highlight shade from the palette. You can tell it's not like super crazy. Let's go in with Wisteria the bright purple. And put it on the lower lash line. And see how it looks. I'm a little bit scared. Um, it is very pretty and it looks very pigmented, so. For lash line, I feel like you have to build it up a little bit since it is such a like light color you know like a pastel type of color here is the purple on the lower lash line i think i'm gonna go in with muse which is like a dark brown I'm going to use that just as like a liner just a little bit on the lower lash line so we're gonna go in with muse So here we have that. I'm going to go ahead and clean up any like fallout that I have on the bottom here and throw on some um, eyeliner, mascara, and lashes. I'm going to be using um, my NYX Epic Ink Liner and then I'm using this Buxom, what is this called? 
lash mascara in black is black i don't know it's a little sample one i got and then i'm gonna throw on some lashes i think i'm gonna use the 11s by kiss we'll see let me see what i have so give me one second i'll be right back with the completed look give you guys my thoughts and opinions and all that jazz i zoomed in so you can see the eyeshadow look all together now i think i made the purple more wearable it's not quite as like bam in your face you know it's a little more just like a subtle whisper <laughs> which i like so here is the look all together these are the kiss 11s i did end up wearing those so i think they're a pretty natural lash but they look good with like anything so that is what i have on my eyes today i am thrilled with how everything in this palette ended up turning out go ahead and grab one of my other abh palettes that way you guys can see a size difference this is my also sorry darby's in here so she's probably gonna be loud i went ahead and picked uh my modern renaissance to show you guys like the size difference in these palettes so basically they're the same uh length and everything they're like the same size the only difference is the pan size this is my old modern renaissance it's a 14 pan palette it's been beat to death um but i love it i i i literally love it and it has the um like crushed velvet feel they're only 12 pans so you're missing two shades but i kind of like the bigger pans i don't know if that's just me one thing i don't like about this palette though you can't bend this all the way back with the old one that it's like this velvet i love that i could just bend it backwards and hold it like this you know da 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 like i didn't like having this part opened all the time and this new one you can't um fully bend it back i did and i think i cracked it or something do you guys see like the white right there i think i just kind of cracked it because i was bending it back so i don't think you're supposed to do that with this one i don't think it's a it's as flexible as like the crushed velvet ones i think it's fine though i now i know now i know all right you guys so all in all i absolutely love this palette i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me like try out some of the colors today in a look but i think the blendability is amazing the pigment is like unreal on this palette i love the shimmers as well they are just so gorgeous and they just really elevate any look you can do either something really dramatic or something super simple and i think it's a fun way to spice up your everyday neutral type of colors because i normally go for like you know the golds the browns the whatever it just looks good for every day but this is actually kind of re-inspired me to add a little color into my everyday look because i think it's neutral yet it is still fun and different so i actually am so excited that i picked this palette up i hope you guys get a chance to try it out let me know what you think in the comments below i'm just obsessed like look at these swatches so so pretty let me know what your guys' favorite palette is this has definitely become top of my list <laughs> um i'm so excited to continue to play around with it so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already it means so much to me and i will see you guys in my next video